right now joined on the Sports Report by the uh, gentleman that I mentioned earlier, Kendrick Robinson, who was the recipient of the NFL's Way to Play Award last week, along with Antwerp head coach Jason Hale. First of all, guys, hey, thanks for taking uh, the time to be with us today. Yep. Thank you. So, Kendrick, just first of all, walk me through how, what was your reaction when you found out that you had uh, received this award? Uh, I was pretty surprised that I got nominated to with this award. And when I found out, I was pretty happy and excited to be elected by NFL and all the other people. Did it take you by surprise? Did you have any idea that this was coming? No, I did not figure out, realize it was coming at any time. It just came at me as a surprise. Uh, this one's for you, Coach. So how did, the, uh, how did the nomination process work? How did Kendrick get on the NFL's radar? Uh, talk us yeah, about that. Yeah, you know, I think their partnership with Huddle, Patrick, they, uh, you know, because we, we didn't really, we didn't send anything in for nomination. We just sent our film, to, you know, our films on Huddle. And I think what happened is their committee, you know, they have a committee of, of former players and all that that just, uh, we think that they just went through and, and, and found the clip, which is crazy because you think about all the schools, in, you know, not just in Ohio, but, in the nation to have huddle and, and them looking at them and, and for them to pick, you know, from a small school in Northwest Ohio, we were, we were pretty excited for this. What does it mean to uh, coaches and you, folks that you guys are, are working with that someone like Kendrick, someone on your team has been recognized for their, uh, for their technique, for their ability, stuff that I know coaches uh, drill a day in and day out with, with kids. Yeah, you know, we rep this stuff every day in practice, and it's just good to see that Kendrick put it to use during the game and got recognized. You know, we, we never expect anything like this would happen, but, you know, we're, we're very thankful, you know, and it just solidifies, you know, it reassures us that the work we're doing in practice makes sense and, and our technique and, and the coaching points. And, you know, we can only coach so much, but the players, Kendrick did a great job of applying it on the play. And, you know, the great thing is he's only a sophomore, so we got – we have two and a half more years to keep to keep getting him better. and getting better technique and keep improving. So we're pretty excited for the future. Kendrick, how have the other guys on the team responded to you, since, you uh, since you won this award? What, what's, what's been the reaction? I see a little bit of smile through the mask there. What, how has it been? It's, it's been good. Uh, uh, all my teammates have a new nickname for me now. It's Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. Very, very nice. I'm famous and all that. <laughs> Well, it sounds like they're they're really enjoying uh, really enjoying the, your newfound celebrity. So I was watching one of the shows, and they said that uh, you, you celebrated or probably celebrated with hitting up the local root beer stand. Uh, is that accurate? Was that their uh, description of a small town? What what did you actually do to celebrate the uh, the occasion? Uh, I did not go to the root beer stand. I actually went to the B Dubs. And actually celebrate with my friends and family. Awesome, awesome! Buffalo Wild Wings always a good place to uh, to celebrate. The rubber stain was closed, so it's closed for the season. <laughs> okay, I, I wondered about that. I thought, yeah, we're, we're kind of past the time of, of root beer floats, and I yeah, stuff yeah. Like that. So I figured that was going to be pretty hard to find. Uh, one last question. Looking forward to your game uh, this week. Well, tonight, by the time we we have this interview against Waynesfield, uh, for you guys, uh, your uh, your your first playoff berth in a while. Um, what is the uh, what's the thought process? What are you looking forward or from from uh, Waynesville Goshen this week? Yeah, you know we you know we've watched a lot of tape, Patrick. There, you know they're a good team at four and one. Um, you know they've kind of been on the up and up for the past couple of years, and that's the point that we're hoping we can get to. You know we obviously haven't won a game this year, but you know we're very close. You know we're a lot of young guys. We guys have some experience, so we, we know that, and we're pretty close. Um, we know we're going to go down there and play well. You know we got a little bit of a road trip. But we're okay with that because we'll, we'll get our minds right and get ready for business. But we know we got to go down and play well. Uh, they got some really good athletes, a quarterback, receiver, uh, running back. You know, we, we feel like we're very similar to them. Same size school, same style kids playing playing for us on each side. So, you know, we're gonna it's we're gonna have to go down there and play well. But you know, we're excited. First time we've been in the playoffs in 13 years. You know, especially with this you know with this year going on. You know, we've talked about a week just taking advantage of our opportunity and. We have a great opportunity this week to go in the playoffs and, and compete and get better and, and let's see where the chips fall. And, and the great thing is, this isn't it. And, you know, that's, that's the whole thing that we've been trying to preach all week. We still have more to play for, you know. So 
even, you know, if we get a win, that would be amazing. You know, even if we don't, you know, we've still got more to play for. So we need to use this game to springboard us for the last four games of the year. Do you have – so do you have other games that are going to be scheduled for you guys after this game? Yes, depending on what happens, you know, whether we win or lose, we have three more games scheduled. Um, so, you know, if, if we win, we'll keep playing in the playoffs. And, and, and if, if we lose, then we'll play our schedule that's scheduled. Sounds great. Well, wish you the, uh, the best of luck. Have the highlights on the show actually later on uh, awesome. in the program tonight. Head coach of Antwerp, Jason Hale, Hollywood Robinson. Guys, thanks so much for uh, your time tonight. Yep. Thank you very much.